When becoming famous on YouTube, the one thing all creators must be prepared for is that at some point they may have to apologize. And although it can be done properly, it is shocking how many people have missed the mark completely. Starting off our list is the most recent apology and possibly the worst on this list by Colleen Ballinger, who was accused of grooming and predatory behavior towards minors. The original accusations came from Ryan McIntyre in 2020, who accused Colleen of engaging in inappropriate conversations with him when he was only 13 years old. All right, my ass looks good today, y'all. This is how we were a bunch of kids in this group, so we talked stupidly. Colleen comes into the chat and goes, pics, Adam, for me to send pics of my ass. Even sending him lingerie as a joke and asking for inappropriate pictures. Though the controversy came to light in 2020, the allegations resurfaced when many of Colleen's fans attacked Ryan for going after her, leading to him providing all the proof of her not only grooming fans, but also being abusive and gaslighting the kids that worked with her. When people started talking more about it, Colleen wanted to address the controversy and uploaded a video simply titled, Hi. Colleen did address it for about five seconds before she decided to forego reality and pretend she was the main character in a Disney movie. Even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say. Not only did she decide to turn serious allegations against her into a song for content, but it was painfully obvious that the effort she put in this video was not in any way to make up for the wrong she had done. Toxic gossip train, the locomotives fueled with hate. Calling this video an apology is already stretching the truth, as Colleen did not actually apologize at all, but addressed the allegations by saying they are just trying to ruin her. That's not the point of your mob mentality, is it? No. Your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise. Though Colleen may have felt justified for going on the offensive as she saw her fan base turn on her, dismissing all claims against her as toxic gossip without actually providing any validations resulted in serious backlash. She also mentioned she'd be sticking to only the facts, but then provided none while denying the screenshots and videos that victims had proving that she had done what they said. After the first week, the video had been parodied and reacted to by thousands of YouTubers, while the comments are filled with people calling her out for adding even more insult to the victims and missing the point of an apology completely. The back Clash may just officially end her impressively long YouTube career, much like the next person on our list, Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson was at one point the most famous person on YouTube, but like many YouTubers from that decade, there were things he put online that would come back to haunt him. At the height of his popularity, a rumor had circulated that Shane had pleasured himself to his cat, and although it was proven to be false, as people dug into him to find the truth, they found old materials that were still deemed unacceptable. Many of his older songs and sketches involved racist humor against minority groups, such as clips of him cosplaying as Will Smith and Nicki Minaj that went viral for Shane's use of blackface in his videos. It became more and more apparent that Shane's content was racist, sexist, and all around inappropriate, and even though he would claim he is playing crazy characters, people were pretty fed up with him. In response to the backlash, Shane released a video where he meant to apologize for everything and take accountability, but the overall tone came off as shallow and insincere. Every apology video I've ever made has been a, from fear. Shane starts the video by saying that making a video where he feels sorry for himself would be childish, then immediately went and made a 20 minute video feeling sorry for himself. He also mentioned that he should lose everything he has for the offensive jokes that he made, but instead of actually following up on it and either donating profits from those videos or actually attempting to make a difference, he took a little bit of time off and came back to start making videos right away. The biggest indicator of how his apology was received by his fans is to look at the comments that are actually unavailable as he turned off the ability to leave comments on his apology. Though Shane did make his return to a rather lukewarm audience, the next YouTuber still holds the record for the most subscribers lost in a week after saying sorry one too many times, James Charles. James has made quite the reputation for himself with multiple apologies that have resulted in him losing over a million subscribers and setting a new YouTuber record that he still holds today. James started coming under fire when he mentioned in a video that his preferred man is one who is straight, which immediately sparked responses of possible predatory behavior. Well, we met one time during the video and then and then all of a sudden, I'm the guy that broke your heart in yeah. London. Well, I've never even been to London. From that point on, more videos started being uploaded from people calling out James for pressuring them into hanging out with him in order to try and hook up with them, even after they expressed they were not interested. At this point, James had already made a reputation for himself by being quick to address fans and create an apology video, even teaching young influencers how to make one on his reality show. You will either say or do something that people might not like and might not agree with, and eventually, you might have to apologize. What made matters worse for James, however, is when minors started coming forward and saying that he was grooming them. 
James would immediately deny everything, saying that the main person involved claimed to be 18 at first, though as more people stepped forward, it became hard to dismiss all of them and still see James as the victim. The reactions against him were initially massive, as YouTube would demonetize him, he would lose his makeup brand deal and no longer be the host of Instant Influencer, prompting him to make an apology video explaining why he attempted to groom children. After addressing the crime he committed in the first four minutes, James would then move on and use the rest of the video to talk about how his love life has made him desperate. It's sucks and it is ridiculously embarrassing to admit this, but I think I have to and that is that I'm desperate. James would lose over 1 million subscribers as a result of the allegations and then proceed to delete the video and upload another one re-explaining how he wants to take accountability while still denying what he did. I did mention in that video that they had lied to me about their age and that I absolutely did not groom them. And my first reaction was to post a no more lie style of video, debunking everything and fighting back and everything. James's career may have taken a hit, but he was able to recover on his platforms, unlike the next person on this list, the Liver King. Liver King's apology was prompted after he lied constantly about not taking steroids steroids and attributing his physique to hard work and his diet of raw liver and bull testicles. Of course, at the same time, he was selling supplements that were supposed to help you look like him, but failed to mention the $11,000 worth of pharmaceuticals that he was using on a monthly basis. After being exposed on More Plates, More Dates, where an email of him confirming that he was using was leaked, Liver King would go on to make one of the most aggressive apologies where he would be literally sitting shirtless on a throne while addressing his audience. Primals, I'm making this video to apologize. Though Liver King starts the video stating that he is here to apologize, like most famous apologies, it ended up being him finding a way to excuse himself while also flaunting his status. I'm still rich, but no longer anonymous, and I never expected this kind of exposure in the public eye. Instead of just coming out and saying that he was lying about his steroid use, he decided to get angry and go on a tirade about how the Liver King was an experiment to help men with depression, and because of that, he could not tell the truth. Liver King, the public figure, was an experiment to spread the message, to bring awareness to the 4,000 people a day who kill themselves. The 80,000 people a day that try to kill themselves. Our people are hurting at record rates with depression, autoimmune, anxiety, infertility, low ambition in life. The irony behind using steroids to help people with body dysmorphia was not lost on the viewers as one comment read, I wanted to help people with depression obtains an unobtainable body image that his fans will never accomplish by natural means. The video ended up gathering a few million views, but it would be the last time Liver King went viral as the fallout led to him completely losing any interest in his videos. The Liver King may not be taken seriously again, but the next person on this list is now going strong after almost totally ending his career with only one video. Though now mostly known for his boxing career and podcast, there was a time where Logan Paul was the most popular vlogger on the internet. Originally becoming famous for his crazy antics performed during his vlogs, he finally took things too far when he went to Japan and decided to camp overnight in what is known as Japan's suicide forest. While filming his vlog, Logan unsurprisingly came across someone who had themselves and decided the best course of action was to film it for content. The video was quickly removed from his channel, but millions had already seen it and the criticism Logan received was serious. Logan used his platform to issue one of the first ever apologies on YouTube, claiming that he never planned to actually find someone in the forest. So what we came across that day in the woods was obviously unplanned, and the reactions you saw on tape were raw, they were unfiltered. He claimed to not be expecting to see an actual corpse, but the notoriety of the forest that he went to makes it almost impossible to believe especially after choosing to edit the part in the video and still upload it. Though his apology in hindsight is not nearly as bad as most on this list, Logan still makes the video for posting another apology six months ago for scamming his fans into buying his crypto NFT project and then posting an apology after not being able to sue the person who called him out for it. Um, but the fact is that suing CoffeeZilla is not going to help crypto zoo holders, so I do need to focus my attention where it should be, which is on fans and supporters of me. He ends the apology saying that any money they can salvage from the project will be returned to those who invested, which sounded great, but six months later, no refunds have been issued. Though Logan may have to continue apologizing, we can give him credit for keeping it short, unlike Laura Lee, whose apology has gone down as one of the most insincere ways of gathering sympathy in YouTube history. Hardest things I've ever done. The hardest thing she's ever done is in reference to people getting upset at her in 2018 for some very racist tweets that she had posted back in the day. And instead of coming on and apologizing, Laura decided to make a scene on camera. So sorry to you guys. <laughs> Though there is plenty of sniffling and crying, comments were quick to point out that not a single tear was actually shed during the actual apology, and calling it an apology is about as real as her tears since she used classic lines like, sorry I disappointed you, instead of sorry I'm a racist. 
The reality is that if Laura just came on camera and apologized for her racist tweets from 2012 and expressed sincerity without trying to play the victim, everyone would have moved on. But instead it became all about her being sad and made people dislike her even more because of it. Though Laura may have put on a bit of a show, nothing compares to the recital that Sienna May posted in order to move on from a serious charge that was brought against her. Sienna was accused of sexual assault by Jack Wright where he talked about how she took advantage of him while he was passed out at a party. Though of course Sienna denied the accusations, the video proof was enough for people to recognize that she had taken advantage of someone whether she wanted to believe it or not, and in response to the backlash, she decided that she would make an interpretive dance expressing how she feels about everything. The video starts with her saying she took a month off because of all the negativity, resulting in one of the most difficult times in her life. That remark alone is brutal towards anyone who is a victim of SA, while at the same time victimizes herself for the crime that she committed. She then proceeds to perform an interpretive dance to a Sam Smith song that is all about being young so it's okay to make mistakes. Calling the video an apology is actually just a lie as there is nothing here that would indicate any sort of remorse on her behalf or even address what she did. And to make matters worse, her choice of song implies that she excused a serious crime on her youth and that makes it all okay. Naturally, the video was parodied endlessly with multiple creators calling her on her BS. In the end, Sienna took the video down, but her attempts to making people forget only resulted in more backlash against her.